Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I wanna to talk a little bit about love versus compatibility because we all fall in love and we assume we fall in love because that person's compatible with us, but that is not always true. And so do you actually use love to decide if the partner's right for you? Watch the show reel, let's find out after. <laughs> All right, so here's the secret. Love is everywhere, right? At the end of my videos, I always tell you, you are loved, you are loving, and you are lovable because it's so true. We are all worthy and deserving of love. But what happens sometimes, and what I see often is that we start loving the idea of being in love or the idea of loving somebody else, right? Because it feels so great. In fact, when we start falling in love, when we hang out with somebody, we go out on a date, we get attracted, we start enjoying ourselves with somebody. So many of us love the idea of having a partner, of being in companionship, of feeling love, of feeling wanted, feeling desired, and knowing that somebody wants us, that we decide that because we are falling in love, because we are attracted, that that person is right for us. But here's the deal. Are we compatible? Because eventually that love will fade away a little bit. In other words, your hormones will change, right? Because like where we experience love is also where we experience the high of drugs in our brain. So as those hormones shift and as our quote unquote love for that person shifts, that obsession, that desire, what's left? Now, I believe love stays forever. I believe in unconditional love, but the feeling of that, the experience of that can change, right? I love so many of my exes, but the feeling that I have when I see them, when I talk to them is different than when we were together. Do you hear what I'm saying? So this is a mistake I've made many times is that I've assumed love equals compatibility. So when you're looking for that perfect relationship, when you're trying to decide if you should stay in the relationship that you're in, look at, are you actually compatible? Like what are, if you had to choose five things, that you want in a lifelong partner that are like non-negotiable for you. And I don't mean like, oh, they're not alcoholics or they treat me fine, but like, what are things that you need? Like what would things that you want in your best friend, somebody that you'd hang out with all the time? Like for me, I know it's good communication. They have to be really self-aware and good communicators because I'm a super clear communicator. And if people take offense at that and they're not self-aware of how they're feeling or how they're reacting, people can get really upset at me really, really quickly, right? So I know those are compatibility factors for me. I know that people have to be super playful, right? So, and I have, they have to be able to take care of their own stuff, right? But also then it's treating me well and what's our intimacy like and all of that. But at the same time, like I know that if somebody is not playful, they're super serious all the time and they need me to act a certain way, like that's not a compatibility factor. So I can still love them and I can still enjoy them and enjoy their company, but that does not necessarily mean that I should be in a relationship with them, even if the momentum has built up and we've started hanging out and it feels right and they like me and I'm attracted to them, but there's something just a little bit off, right? So when you start looking at what do you want in a relationship? How do you feel? But also, if you didn't quote unquote feel this way, could you see yourself enjoying time together with them for the rest of your life is the way they treat you going to sustain is the way you want to treat them going to sustain are you only in it for the way they treat you for the way they act around you what they give to you or do you enjoy giving back just as much is there this equality is there this give and take that really sustains and fulfills you right because the treatment back and forth should be so great. So imagine this now that instead of having this relationship where, you know, you're in love and it's all great and it's all happy, but then you start having kids and you get married and you do all the things. And then all of a sudden you're like, God, do I even really like this person? We don't do the same things. We don't have the same schedule, nothing they like, I like anymore. And so what do we do and how do we maintain this relationship? Imagine instead that you're fully compatible. And that even when there's times of arguments and strife and fight and conflict, like there's a compatibility. There's a knowledge that 
you can come back together, communicate that you're both committed to working through and finding reconnection, finding a solution. And that the love there is so deep because the way you two align together, the way you two live your lives in the world is so synergistic that nothing can tear you apart. How's that? How does that feel different than just being obsessed with somebody the way they treat you, the way they look, the way they're acting right now, what they give to you, what they provide for you? So write in the comments, what do you need to be compatible with somebody? Like, how do you know if someone's compatible with you? Write down a list. I'd love to hear what makes you compatible with somebody else. Like true compatibility, who do they need to be in the world? What's gonna sustain forever? Not just they're doing it for you right now because they're attracted to you and you're attracted to them, but eventually once you get used to each other, that's all gonna go away because it's a bunch of BS, right? But how do you actually contain yourselves in the world together. So remember, you're love, you're loving, you're lovable. You deserve love, but you also could deserve deep compatibility and respect in your partnership. Until next time.